Hello everyone, Sergius here from Fragmix, and today we are going to compare the Xbox One with the PS4. So, as happens every couple of years in the Xbox and PlayStation fight of utter pointlessness over which console is better, once again the internet is ablaze with this is better than that or you fanboys suck. So really, what is the better console? Let's try to find out. The only real logical place to start for all tech savvy gamers would be the system specifications. We covered Xbox One specifications in yesterday's video, so let's start there. The specifications are a Jaguar 8 core CPU at 1.6 GHz per second, a D3D 11.1 .1 GPU at 1.2 teraflops, yes, teraflops, that is floating point operations per second. These hardware academics get weirder every single year. And of course, 8 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM at 68 gigabytes per second. Now moving on to the PS4 specs, we have again a Jaguar 8 core CPU, this time at 2.0 gigahertz, a Radeon GPU at 1.84 teraflops, and lastly, 8GB GDDR5 RAM at 176GB per second. Alright, so PS4 wins. Goodbye everyone. I'm joking. Calm down. That's just the specs. What else do these top of the line consoles offer, you ask? Well, I can tell you what the Xbox One doesn't offer, and that would be backwards compatibility. That's right. All those Xbox games of yours, useless. The PlayStation 4, however, does support backwards compatibility. That being said, both consoles offer Blu-ray and HDMI input and output ports, which is a first for the Xbox, as last time they did not support Blu-ray. There are no announced prices yet for either console, but they are both estimated to be between $300 and $500. I know, I know, that is a wide gap, but you still pay for Xbox Live. PlayStation 4 Network is completely free, so even if the Xbox One is cheaper than the PlayStation 4, in the long run you are still going to be paying more to have an Xbox. There's even an unconfirmed rumour that you will not be able to play used games on other Xbox consoles and will in fact have to repurchase them. Again, that's unconfirmed, so take it with a pinch of salt. If that is the case though, then what the hell were you thinking, Microsoft? Now, I must apologise. Xbox fans are probably thinking that this is an extremely one-sided video. Honestly, I share your pain. I too am an Xbox fan, and was rooting for the Xbox One, but when the details came out side by side, I gotta say, the PlayStation 4 just seems to be the logical choice here. And on a side note, the Xbox One sounds really stupid. They could have gone with the Xbox 720 or Xbox Fusion, but no, Xbox One. I get it, it's a, it's a clever play on words. One box for everything. It still sounds stupid. So I'm afraid that's it everyone. So far, until further details come out, it does seem that the PlayStation 4 might just be winning this time. I hope you will enjoy, please feel free to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Now, time to sit back and watch the comment war begin.